Okay, so I owe an apology to the safe deposit safety Nazis out there who were giving me shit for getting a safe deposit box. Now, I did a video where I showed that a safe deposit box is more secure against a thief than a private safe. And I still believe that to be true. However, there are other things that could happen if you have a safe deposit box. And I just had an experience. I'm gonna tell you about it. So, my storage unit got broken into, which is why I start stacking silver, because of storage issues, which is why I have a safe deposit box. Anyways, uh, after my, safe, uh, my storage unit got broken into, one of the things they stole was some old checkbooks, and they started writing bad checks, so I had to uh, close my checking account and open a new one. Well, when I got my safe deposit box, they had a deal where they'll take the payment out of your checking account and it's like cheaper, uh, which was a good deal, you know, kind of like uh, automatic payment. Um, but the thing is, I forgot about that one when I closed my checking account and opened a new one. Also, I got, I used to get my mail at my friend's house who lives near uh, my uh, yard where I park my car and get my days off, right? So he got evicted. So I had to uh, ask another friend if I could get my mail at their house, which is over in San Bernardino, like three hours away. So I don't get my mail as much now. And as a result, I didn't get this letter that was uh, the bill for the safe deposit box until it was already past due. I was actually going on my vacation. I was flying out of LAX, so I decided to stop by my friend's house, uh, get my mail and hang out with them. And uh, I got, you know, and one thing about Bank of America, they send a lot of junk mail. So I, a lot of times I don't even open it. Luckily I opened this one and I was surprised <clears throat> to find it was a bill past due for my safe deposit box. So now I'm panicking, I'm about to fly out. I'm gonna fly out the next day. I tried calling them up. It's Friday night, they say, uh, well, you have to talk to the safe deposit branch, which is closed now. They don't open till Monday and I'm flying out, you know, the next day, Saturday, right? So I'm, I'm gonna panic, cause, but I look over the letter and, and it could, you could basically, uh, put your checking account number and then they'll take it out of your checking. Of course, I had already thrown away the self-addressed envelope, but I, I hand wrote uh, the address on an envelope and I sent it off before I left, but I was panicking for like a week, like stressed out. Like, are they gonna seize my, my safe deposit box or what? Well, luckily, you know, I, I mean, Every day I'm checking my uh, my bank account app, you know, while I'm over there in the Philippines, like for the first week. And finally I see that there's a, a credit, whatever, for, for the approximate amount. It doesn't say what it is, because it's just pending. But the next day it goes through, it says, safe deposit and I'm like, Shh, thank God. But yeah, you know, there are dangers definitely to owning a safe deposit box and I just experienced one of them that, you know, you don't pay the bill, they could seize your account, you know, even if it's something like that. So that's my uh, apology to all the safe deposit safety Nazis. But hey, there's a lot of us who still don't have any other option and it is a better option than uh, some depending on your situation
uh, a personal safe is still vulnerable. You may think it's uh, safer, depending on your situation. Maybe you're living in a fortress, someone's home 24 hours a day. You got a good security system, guns, dogs, whatever. But a personal safe is easier to break into than a bank vault. So whatever, it's really your choice. There's risks no matter what. Wherever you store your gold, there's going to be risks. So thanks for watching. Mia Copa.